create clever kids. Learn English naturally through play. For toddlers and for students of English. Please like and subscribe for more videos and support this channel. Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to take a look at some dinosaurs. First off, let's take a look at this picture. What's happening in this picture? What is this pink dinosaur doing? Well, this pink dinosaur is doing several things. First off, it is standing on its hind legs. These are its front legs and these are its hind legs. It's standing on its hind legs and it is eating from a tree. It is eating from a tree. This dinosaur is standing on its hind legs and eating from a tree. Next, we have two small baby dinosaurs and they are playing together. It looks like they are headbutting each other. Both of these dinosaurs, I should say all three of these dinosaurs, eat plants. They are called herbivores. Herbivores. Okay, let's take a look at a few of our dinosaurs and prehistoric reptiles. Our first dinosaur needs no introduction. We all know it as the great three-horned dinosaur, the Triceratops. The Triceratops. The tri <clears throat> excuse me. The Triceratops was a very large dinosaur. It was about as large as an elephant, and it had three great horns on its face, two behind its eyes, and one on its nose. Two long horns behind its eyes and one short horn on its nose. It also had an armored frill, an armored frill. It was short and stocky and had a similar body structure to that of a rhinoceros. It lived during the Cretaceous period, which was the last period that the dinosaurs existed in. The dinosaurs existed in the beginning in the Triassic period, in the middle in the Jurassic period, and at the end in the Cretaceous period. Our next dinosaur is a Stegosaurus. A Stegosaurus. A Stegosaurus is also an armored dinosaur, but it lived at an earlier time than the Triceratops. It lived during the Jurassic period. Both of these dinosaurs are plant eaters, do you remember what the word was for plant eater? Herbivore. Herbivore. Our next creature is a prehistoric reptile that lived in the Cretaceous Oceans called a mosasaur. A mosasaur. Now it wasn't quite a dinosaur, although it lived at the same time as the dinosaurs. It is what we called a prehistoric reptile. And it actually uh, had some, uh, it's, it's related more closely to monitor lizards than it would be to dinosaurs. Uh, it was gigantic though, it was equal to the size of the dinosaurs. In fact, it was called the Tyrannosaurus of the ocean. next prehistoric reptile is the ichthyosaur and it also lived in the ocean. The ichthyosaur had a body structure that was very similar to that of a dolphin. In fact, sharks, ichthyosaurs, and dolphins all have the same body design. This is an example of convergent Evolution. Convergent evolution is when we see parallels or repeated patterns in unrelated species. Sort of like the Triceratops. The Triceratops and the Rhinoceros have a similar body structure. 
even though one is a dinosaur and one is a mammal. And think about it. We have the shark, which is a fish, the ichthyosaur, which is a reptile, and the dolphin, which is a mammal. Amazing! Here we have another ichthyosaur, a small green one. I'm just going to put him on top here because we're running out of space. And ichthyosaur is typically a smaller marine life like fish and uh, squid. Our next dinosaur is another armored dinosaur. And this one is called the ankleosaur. The ankleosaur. And the ankleosaur also lived uh, during the Cretaceous period. Uh, it was heavily armored. It had an armored tail with a club on it, an armored head, and an armored body. Uh, it wasn't very smart, but it had a very strong sense of smell. Its eyesight was poor as well. Of course, our next dinosaur needs no introduction. It is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was a meat eater. So, would I call a Tyrannosaurus Rex a herbivore? Yes or no? No, I wouldn't. Because a herbivore is a plant eater. A Tyrannosaurus Rex was a carnivore. A carnivore. And that's another animal that eats meat. And all the other dinosaurs had to either hide or run or fight the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So these armored dinosaurs were very strong and they could fight against a Tyrannosaurus. Uh, but other dinosaurs might have to run from it or hide from it. And here's another Tyrannosaurus Rex. We have a red one, and we have a cute little yellow one. Our next dinosaur, you can see a picture of it right here, and it is a Hadrosaur. A Hadrosaur is a family of dinosaurs known as the duck-billed dinosaurs, colloquially. And there are many different types of duck-billed dinosaurs. This particular one has a long crest behind its head, uh, which enabled it to make uh, very beautiful noises. And duck-billed dinosaurs are the type of dinosaur that would have to run away from a Tyrannosaurus rex because it didn't have any horns or armor or claws. The hadrosaurs lived primarily during the Cretaceous period. Our next dinosaur is a sauropod. It is the Apatosaurus. Apatosaurus. Uh, a long time ago, when I was young, people used to call it the Brontosaurus. But the correct name is the Apatosaurus, and they are massive dinosaurs. Uh, the only animal that could compare to them today would be the whale in size. Uh, sauropods, there were many types. There was the Diplodocus, the Brachiosaurus, the Apatosaurus, and so on. Uh, they were massive. They were often the size of 10, 12, 14 elephants in, in weight and in length. Their height was massive as well. They could often see through the window of a four, five, or six story building, or even higher. Our next dinosaur is not actually a dinosaur, but a prehistoric reptile known as a pterodon. A pterodon. And pterodons uh, could fly in the sky before birds could. So um, we had insects as the first creatures that could fly. And next was the pterodon or the pterodactyl family, and then after that would be birds, and then after that would be bats. So insects, then the pterodactyls, or pterodons. Actually pterodactyls, pterodon is a type of pterodactyl. And then the, uh, the birds, and then finally bats. And you can see that insects are the best flyers. Uh, pterodactyls, we don't know how they flew, but we assume they might be the second best. 
Birds are the third best and bats are the fourth best. And here we have some cute baby Tyrannosauruses. Watch out, they're gonna grow up and be very big. Next we have a Gorgosaurus. Gorgosaurus also ate meat. And this type of dinosaur uh, looks like a Tyrannosaur, but it had different kind of teeth. It had slashing teeth rather than crushing teeth. Tyrannosaurs have crushing teeth because they had to deal with big armored dinosaurs like Ankylosaur and Triceratops, whereas a Gorgosaur uh, was in the Allosaurid family and it had more like slashing teeth. And then finally we have a cute little dinosaur egg. Okay, that ends our video for now. I hope to make more of these in the future, so if you could please subscribe to this channel, share it, and like, I would really appreciate it to help this channel grow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Please share this video with all your friends.